Welcome, welcome back to This Week in Showdown with your host, Bob. Uh, solo again today. Uh, no big deal. Everyone is busy trying to do what we can. Uh, trying to knock this stuff out every week for you, but not everyone is here. But thank you again, to, uh, as always, to Showdown Card Bot at MLB uh, Showdown Bot on Twitter and ShowdownBot.com for helping us with making the cards quickly every week. Uh, I made a couple this week, so if they look like crap, that's because I made them really quickly before the show. Uh, first up this week, uh, we have Mr. Joey Votto, who's been on an absolute tear, which blows my mind in, in general. And um, I guess he just missed um, getting his, like, what is it, eighth? in a row one two three four five six seven eighth in a row there it hit off the wall um just ridiculous the other day so he in the last week though he's had seven home runs 11 rbis uh the on base of 448 it, it was funny because you know remember Votto used to have a good a good home runs and then like for a couple of years just totally dropped off and so it is cool to see again him having this a uh, little bit of a home run terror. I mean, he's only got 21 in the season, only. But a third of them came in this past week. So it is a really weird card for Votto, but he does get the 9 on base here. Um, 17 home run. That's great. A lot of walks, which is Votto-like. A lot of strikeouts, which is just baseball in general. Interesting card, though. Love how beautiful this this card uh, looks, too. How crisp it is. Um, I got Mr. Braces himself, Rafael Ortega. Um, I don't know this player at all, but in the past week... He had four homers of his uh, six home runs in the season, eight RBIs, uh, eight runs, 11 hits, 500 for the week. So he's relatively new, um, but you get the nine. Uh, he's got some pop right now. We'll see how the rest of the season falls out. I mean, just literally had a ridiculous day uh, yesterday, um, or this card would not look like this, but... 430 points, you're getting a 9 on base, 8, 18 home run with a lot of double range here, a lot of singles, a really good card right now. 430 seems like a lot for this, but it does have a lot of value in being B-Speed. It helps. It's interesting. I don't know if I... I feel like it's a little high for me, but it's probably right. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it just yet, but I do like it. OF plus 1 is nice. Next up, Austin Riley. Um, he had... Five homers this past week with 13 RBIs, you know, seven runs, 11 hits, tearing up this week. He's up to a nine on base card. Third base plus two with home run. So this is more like the range that I'm looking for for my nines. Um, a lot of strikeouts, a lot of singles on this chart. So it's, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's not too bad. I kind of like it. Um, feels like a really solid player for 360. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. He's got 22 home runs in the year. Uh, and we'll see how it plays out. His uh, fellow uh, Brave, um, Dan Dansby Swanson, uh, is at a 200-point shortstop plus two. Uh, not the best card being the seven on base, but he does have some pop on the back end. Uh, he had three home runs this week, 10 RBIs, a stolen base, 10 hits, um, but just not, not doing too well for the season. Just had a really <laughs> – in one game he had seven RBIs. So, you know, that's kind of why he's getting player of the week this week. Um, but in general, he's probably not the most draftable card. He's probably not going to have the best season. Um, and then generally, uh, Michael Conforto uh, is a stud, um, generally. <laughs> uh, I remember, I think I drafted him this year in both my leagues and had dropped him quickly. And this week he went, uh, what, 3 for 23 and was on base at 200 as one of the worst that we know, like as known names. So getting the 50.7 here is just not really going to cut it a lot of walks it's just it's just not what you want to see you definitely for 50 points though this card's probably worth it um as like a as like a punt to get just like an outfield and seven's not the worst thing in the world but man a c speed and you get like way too many walks i would probably not draft this card unless i really had to fill this position and it probably allows you to have other positions available and that's the benefit of it but it's just it's not a good card in general um, Rollis Chapman's back up. I know he had like the worst uh, outing the other other week that we had him in here, but this week has four innings, four saves, seven Ks, 
Um, he's doing great for the season. He's got a standard tier three card here with five control, one to 15 out. Um, 210 points is your standard reliever in the 0-1 sets. This is really solid. Two to 10 strikeout range if you like that. Um, it's a really good card in general. He's he's having a great year. Um, you know, nothing too outstanding. Um, but I mean, I, you gotta like it. You gotta like what you're seeing here, at least from this card. And um, and hopefully it continues then for him. Even though I don't really like the Yankees. Um, Adam Wainwright at 100 years old, still pitching great. He's getting a tier two card here at 530 points, getting that 69. He's actually having a pretty decent season. But this week he picks up two wins, had 14 uh, innings pitch with three, 13 strikeouts. Um, in general, he's just above average, I think. I actually don't think he probably will finish tier two. I think he'll finish in the tier three range here. But we'll end up seeing how he plays out. Very draftable card for 530, and it's awesome to see him up there. And then our boy Shohei Otani, again, somehow just keeps appearing every other week. He has two, two. Uh, I guess he only had one start this week, but his last outing before that was good too. Picks up the win, seven IP, so he's actually increasing his workload a little bit here. He has seven, a six, and a seven the last uh, go around. But five Ks, he's got 100 Ks in 80 innings pitch. He's picking up the Tier 2 card, but only the 5 IP because, again, he's been on short status most of the season, getting pulled early. But it is awesome to see his card. I really, really hope that he finishes really high this year because I really want to see something good from him, especially batting and pitching. Sandy Alcantara uh, rocking the, 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 the street, what do they call it, the city, city-wise jerseys, the Hot Miamis coming in with another, again, the three of them at 530 this week. Uh, third points, but another tier two card, pretty standard here. He's having a really good season, but this week picks up the win uh, with with a no decision as well. This week, 15 Ks and in 13 innings, 3.12 ERA for the season. Big ground ball range here. Gotta love that. That's probably gonna help out a lot of people. So definitely look for something like this if I can. I I grab that kind of player and then pick up a couple of good defenders um, on on the infield, and then. Uh, Mr. J. A. Happ kind of running the rounding the bottom out here. Uh, he pitched against Detroit and up nine earned runs in three innings, had to give up ten hits. His last few outings have not been good for the season. He's got a six point seven seven ERA. He, he's underperforming in the strikeout numbers. So you're getting a ninety point one control guy here. He's a what is it, a tier five? Um, just just not good. And he's only five inning pitch. I, I definitely stay away from this card. I'd rather punt harder and get someone way less points and way less less than 90. But um, I think that you're going to find a better option for, and, and it'll be better for your team overall in general. Um, again, pretty pretty standard like normal here for the uh, for showdown. A lot of good pitchers this week, a lot of interesting new batters, and we'll hopefully see some... Um, so maybe some of these new trade deadline faces as we go forward here. I know Chris Bryant just hit a home run, Anthony Rizzo, Javi Baez. Everyone's hitting home runs with the teams they got traded to, so it is great to see that for everyone. So thank you again for listening to this week in Showdown.